Hey, everybody. John Huber here, Maryland Education Network, brought to you by Maryland K-12. So Baltimore County's new teachers went back um, for new teacher orientation yesterday, I think. Today's Friday. I think they went back Thursday. Today's Friday. It's the eight, what they call the ANS meeting, advisory super uh, administrative and supervisory personnel. That takes place today. So we're all set in BCPS for teachers to come back Monday. And, you know, this is pretty normal stuff. Teachers go back. They have a new teacher orienta- new teacher orientation. So I'm, lo- <laughs> I'm looking at uh, some, some, um, some publicity from it through BCPS. I think it might have been on their Facebook page. I can't remember. And there's a picture of this guy standing there like this. I thought, what, what the heck is that? So I, <laughs> so I go and I, and I look a little closer. And someone makes a comment, pretzel breathing. I said, pretzel breathing? What in the world is pretzel breathing? Well, it's part of this new program that they're bringing in. I, I don't know if it's new. Maybe they've been trickling in over the last year or whatever. I'm not sure. Conscious discipline. Okay. Um, I, you know, I'm not opposed to anything that's going to help kids behave better and it's going to support kids. There's no question about it. But I just, I see this and I'm just like, here we go again. It's another thing another thing it's conscious discipline this year a couple years ago it was restorative practices uh the year before you know then it was you know pbis was all the all the the rave um uh there was there was another one in there i, I can't remember and it's just like every you know they, there was one called i remember they gave us all books and we had to read his books and called discipline with dignity and there's all of these different um these these programs and, and they're and they're all fine but you know when you when you just keep rolling one after another after another it makes you wonder what the what the heck is going on what are, what are they trying to do and it's all folks it's all just a smoke screen and i hate to say that because i know there are a lot of people that are really really you know into this and think this is this is a great thing and teachers especially young teachers they get a hold of this stuff early on and they get real excited about it. They go, oh, this is really, I can't wait to get into my classroom and I'm going to do this. And that's great. And, and I encourage you, if if you think it's going to help you be a better teacher, by all means do it. So I'm not trying to say this is a, but from a larger sense, I just, <laughs> just it's just like a merry-go-round. And what are they, what are they, what, a smokescreen for what? What are they trying to hide? They're trying to, they're trying to, to tread water in, in a system and in a state where it's almost impossible to hold kids accountable for anything. I can, I can tell you, um, it's, it's craziness. The, in, I want to say 2013, 14, something like that, there was a major shift from, you know, a more punitive type of, uh, of, a um, of a discipline policy or, or behavior policy to a more restorative uh, therapeutic approach. And, you know, that's fine, but, but they, they tweaked a lot of these rules and, and, and they made it almost impossible. And I can tell you from talking to some superintendents designees, these are the guys who decide which kids go and which kids come back. Principals can suspend kids for a certain amount of period for, for what used to be from 10 days and below was called a short term suspension. 10 days and above was called a long term suspension. That's changed now. It's like anything up to f- one to three days is a short term. Um, four to ten is a long term, and ten and beyond is called extended suspension. But but anyway, uh, it used to be that that you would take kids to the superintendent's designee, and you would have a hearing, and they they would say, okay, this kid has been clearly been disruptive. He's going to be re- removed from school. They have cracked down so much on the um, superintendent's designees that it's almost impossible for them to get rid of kids. And it comes from the state. Then it goes to the, the called the LEE, the, um, the local educational agency, which is, you know, the counties. And then it comes down to the superintendent's designee. And let me tell you, if special ed's involved, forget it. Forget it. They're, <laughs> it's just craziness. Um, here's the, what the language says for a superintendent a superintendent's designee to remove a student from school. It says, if the students return to school prior to the completion of the expulsion period, which means, you know, if, if a kid's going to remove them, if the superintendent's going to remove them from school, would pose an imminent threat of serious harm to other student or staff. So unless there's some imminent, immediate threat, this kid, no matter what he or she did, they're coming back. And there's another one that says, or... 
the student has engaged in chronic and extreme disruption of the edu educational process that has created a substantial barrier to learning for other students across the school day and other available and appropriate behavioral and disciplinary interventions have been exhausted. And let me tell you, if you look in those handbooks, they list a hundred of them and they'll say, well, there's this one here, you know, you didn't try this, you have to try that. It is almost impossible to remove kids from school. Parents would be shocked if they really, really knew what was going on inside the schools. And I can tell you, it's not the principal's fault. It's not the uh, assistant principal's fault. Of course, it's not the assistant principal's fault. We, <laughs> right? It's not the teacher's fault. It's not, it's, it's, it is a system. And it's not even, I'll be honest with you, it's not even the superintendent's fault. I've said this before. Principals don't want kids like this in there acting like this superintendents don't want area superintendents superintendent the superintendents don't want it. the board of but when the laws from maryland okay say specifically that um that you have to have a, a therapeutic approach and you have to be a restorative and you you know you know and they keep restricting the days you can suspend kids for it that creates the situation that we're in now and then the schools like i mentioned baltimore county yesterday they just find the need just to keep recycling these programs. It's, you know, pretzel breathing and, you know, all the kids. Yeah, I'm going to see a kid in eighth grade, um, you know, it, who's who's sitting there with his with his feet on the on the desk, you know, throwing things around, cussing, refusing to do any work. Yeah, he's going to try some pretzel breathing. Let's uh, OK. Uh, let's uh, go. <laughs> anyway, um, it's it's craziness. Um, and I think parents will be shocked. Parents, if there's uh, if you're out there and you need any more information, I'd be happy to help you. Um, give me a call. I'd be happy to if you if you're concerned about your child. There's anything that uh, that I can do. If you want to give you some tips to get off to a right start, give me a call. See what I can do. Anyway, thanks for listening. Have a great day.